The next song is an interesting one, Man in the Moon. Mm. And what I always loved in listening to Man in the Moon, I've listened to it several times, was the perspective. You, you have a very clever setting for this. I mean, you've, you've set the context of the song in terms of a conversation with the man in the moon almost as a character who is the eye in the sky, mm -hmm. if you will, looking down, uh, you know, uh, sort of an omniscient overseer of the world. Yeah. And, and what's so clever about it is that it allows you to get your sort of world view of the world we live in mm -hmm. across, mm. uh, but not in a preachy way, but in a way of allowing like the man in the moon to like see this and, and yeah. asking him what does he think of this because he sees all yeah how, how, where did the, i mean just from a craft point of view i'm curious where that yeah idea came from that that intimate conversation about such a grand yeah when scope. I, well when i was a child ma uh, the man in the moon um was something that my mother and my father would, would point at the moon and say, can you see the face in the moon? Uh -huh. And we were brought up to look for the face in the moon. Right. You know, when you saw the face as a kid, you were like, I can see it, I can see the eyes, I can see the nose. And so the man in the moon was, that was a thing for us when we were children. You'd look, you'd look to discover him up there when you could see a full moon. But I was looking at a photograph uh, taken from space, um, I think from the moon or from a satellite looking down on Earth. Well, obviously looking down on Earth quite recently because you could see the changing of the color of the sea from pollution. You could see where the wars had taken place. You could see where the forests were being burnt. You could see that the colors were changing and that we were really damaging our own Earth. And I just thought that it was almost like the man in the moon looking down and seeing something change, something that, you know, we, we think is beautiful is we're actually changing. So it's an ecology song. And I was able to look at, in this song, I was able to look at it through the eyes of the man in the moon. And, and it brought back a little bit as when I was a child and I would look up from my, from my bedroom window and look at the moon and try and make out the man in the moon. And I would you'd go, I can see him. And I'd, you always felt like you had a connection with uh, something bigger than you away from you. So it relates a little bit in a way, I think it has quite a childish uh, perspective of a lyric in the sense that, you, man of the moon, look what we've done down here. It's almost like a child. I saw it as a child looking up and saying, you know, what do you think? Are we doing a good job? You know, or have we ruined paradise? And it was just this photograph because I saw a photograph of before pollution and you could see the blue seas. You could see uh, the forest clearly. Then there was almost like this cancer over the earth. You could see the, some of the blue sea had changed its color, it had turned into a very dark, sinister gray. And you could see the smoke on these amazing uh, photographs from space of where the wars were taking place at that time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a desperate situation for the world at the moment. And uh, this song wrote itself again from just looking at this picture and uh, really uh, joining it to when I was a child, how we'd, we would stare at the man in the moon. Blessed. Blessed is a, is a beautiful, almost what I would call uh, a meditation hmm. to an extent. And I, I listen to it and I guess my question to you about Blessed is, is it about anyone specific, the inspiration for that song or, or about the writing? Is Blessed... Uh, does it pertain to anyone, or did you write that for someone? Blessed is a commitment song. Uh, it, I hope that it um, communicates to everybody on a really, really wide space, because it's a commitment song about love. Um, it's about being so in love that you appreciate it, and you understand it, and you see it clearly in your own lifetime. When I was writing this song, my mother was alive, and she would hear me writing it, and it meant a lot to her. Uh, and so as I was finishing the song, I was able to relate to it in the way that my mother and father, which had been married for over, they'd been married for over 40 years, and they were very committed to each other. So uh, I think that influenced me on the song of Blessed. But um, it's, it's primarily about recognizing um, the strength of uh, and the power of love within a relationship. It's a simp again, a very, very simple song. It's a very short song. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's the strength of it, that it's very, very simple. 
but it's me honouring that 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 great commitment that uh, two people can make to each other in a sure. lifetime. You know, another one that that really resonated to me was the long walk home, okay. and the long walk home. It, it tells the story of overcoming tremendous, what I felt in, in, in listening to it many times, dark, painful emotions, a very, very dark place. Um, and having the faith and the courage to come through that and the inner strength to overcoming that. And in the second verse lyric, you say something which I want to ask you about. You write, another 5 a.m. and the cancer crawls. And my question to you, Martin, is, is was that metaphor or were you talking about somebody who is overcoming the obstacle of, of, a, of a grave illness? It's a metaphor. I, um, I saw the two things of uh, the imagery of cancer as relating to anything that creeps up on you, anything that can cloud a lung. It can be a it can, it can come without knowing, it can crawl up on you. And the 5 a.m. is really relating, again, as a metaphor to that time in the morning when it's neither... Day nor night. Yes, right in between, day or night. And that's a, a nebulous place of... Um, it, it, it conjured up in my mind a very dark place and uh, a, a trapped place. And so it's a metaphor for, for anything in the sense that this song, The Long Walk Home, is about uh, battling anything and, uh, that can creep up on you without you knowing it, whether it's grief, whether it be de depression, whether it be addiction. And about that there is always a chance of coming back. There's always a chance. I've seen it many times, you know, when, when situations don't look like they can be reversed, they can be reversed. So this song is really about that. It's, it, uh, but there are a lot of metaphors in for that. Um, and it, as you say in that lyric, Cancer and 5am, it, it's mainly for me to conjure up the situation of, of um, desolation and uh, to create an, an aura of, of no way out. And uh, The Long Walk Home is about exactly that. It, it, it may well be a long walk home, but you've got to take the long walk. You know, nothing, a lot of things in life are not quick fixes. And... Um, in, in my own life, I'd had situations, you know, uh, where you think, well, I've, very much like the song Try. You've got to try a little harder <laughs> to get to the next stage. And But around the corner, after the long walk home, uh, and to realise it's not going to be quick. It's going to be... Uh, most good things in life aren't obviously fast. They, they may take some work. And the long walk home um, is about that.